Positive material identification, or PMI, requires that materials be tested to verify their alloy grade. In this video, you will see how the Delta XRF analyzer has a unique labeling feature that streamlines the labeling of alloy material verification tests. Creating useful, easy, real-time test labeling has to satisfy three factors, minimum keystrokes, maximum automation, and a consistent data entry method. The combination of these guarantees reliable and traceable testing and reporting. Creating and populating labels on the Delta is a simple process. First, the label names and their options are created in a spreadsheet. Then the CSV version of the spreadsheet is imported into the Delta. This automatically creates the labels and their options. This is a great way to reduce your analyzer's setup time. You can have multiple label files on the Delta and choose the one you need for the tests you are about to run. The Delta labeling feature is extremely helpful in PMI situations such as incoming QC inspection where the items supplied need to be tested to make sure they are the items ordered, and in-service testing to ensure that the correct material is being used in the proper location. In the QC inspection scenario, a fabricator orders six seamless stainless steel 347 grade tubes, two inches in diameter. They should all be tested to ensure that they are the grade ordered. The QC labels have already been imported and are ready to use. From the test window, pull the trigger and the label setup window opens. Select all the options needed for this test, including the supplier of the item being tested, the type of item being tested, the number of items being tested, the diameter of the items being tested, and finally, who is performing the testing. Since the default result is passed, it can be left as is. If the item does not pass the test, this field can be changed after the test is completed. Regarding the part count, the Delta can count the number of parts being tested. Setting the part count to 1 means that the count will start at 1. If the part count is left blank, the Delta does not provide a count. Once the label options have been chosen, you can start testing right from the label screen. Place the analyzer on the tube, pull the trigger, and the test begins. The test result for the first tube is 347, the expected grade. It also shows the supplier field from the label window. The Delta chooses the first label as the default, but you can change which label appears on each test. When the trigger is pulled to start the next test, the label window comes up. The part count increments to show that the second part is about to be tested. Pull the trigger and the test commences. The second tube is also the expected 347 grade. The third tube test starts like the previous two with the label window appearing and the part count now at three. Pull the trigger and the test starts. The results show that the tubing is 321 grade, not the expected 347. Tap the info icon to open the edit test info window and change the result to fail grade. The fourth, fifth, and sixth tubes are all 347 grade. The report, which can be used in any PMI software package, will show the labels and results of this testing sequence. Selecting a different set of labels to use is simple. The in-service testing labels and their options have been created in a spreadsheet. The CSV version of the spreadsheet has already been imported into the Delta, so it just needs to be selected. Selecting the in-service label file changes the labels that the Delta will use. The test going forward will have the in-service labels. The previous tests retain the QC inspection labels. Select the component and the location on the component where the first test will be run. The result field defaults to accept, but if the test needs to be rerun, 
This field can be changed to retest after the test is taken. Place the analyzer on the sample, pull the trigger, and the test begins. For each test, the label window appears before the test starts. It's a simple matter of changing the location of the test and then running the test. The report, which can be used in any PMI software package, will show the labels and results of this testing sequence. In addition to creating a report from your test results, you can also print your test results. The Delta XRF analyzer connects wirelessly to a Bluetooth printer, which is sold as an accessory. You can print to a label, which can be used to immediately identify components tested, or you can print to receipt-style paper to include with other documentation. You can print the test results as soon as the test is taken, or you can choose specific tests to print after testing is complete. As you can see, whether PMI testing is for quality control or in-service testing, the approach to real-time test labeling is similar. The Delta XRF Analyzer's real-time labeling feature is a valuable aid in gathering reliable test data that is critical for accurate PMI testing. For more information, contact your local representative or visit us online at www.olympus-ims.com.